plants. I'm going to show you how to plant out from a gutter and um, the first thing I'm going to do is put out a garden line because these seedlings, it's so easy to think, oh I can plant them in a straight line and um, then when you look at it, when you stand up and you kind of praise your work, you just see that it has a gentle curve in it and, um, and then it'll annoy you forever afterwards whenever you're picking your salad. So it really is worth uh, just putting in a, a garden line to give you a, a guide of where the stuff's going. all the way down this slope. On the slope here, which is south facing, we've got a tulip trial next to lots of salads and then um, we put all the pumpkins and squash out here when it gets hot uh, at the end of May. And so what I've got is I've got my gutter here and if you can see it's quite well spaced so the seeds we've put in quite carefully um, exactly as I said about I don't want to drop it about that far apart. And the, and the beauty of that is that I can then get my hand or my trowel between one seedling and the next seedling, push that one out, move six, six inches down the slope because I want that sort of spacing between buckler leaf sorrel, or five to six inches, and then push the other one in. And that's how you use a gutter. So you don't have to push from here and push the whole lot out in one go, which is what people tend to think. You're just treating this almost like a glorified seed tray but there's no pricking out and there's no potting on. So it just makes it so much quicker. It's just as quick as direct sowing, but you're standing up, you can then move this under cover, somewhere warm to get it to germinate, and then put it outside the back door and perhaps cover it with fleece if there's gonna be a frost. But buckley leaf sorrel is hardy, so you don't even need to do that. So I'm going to start planting. And before I do that, just mark myself all the way down my slope at about four to five inch spacings just little dimples because then I just makes it so much quicker to plant and this is really lovely soil on here if it was bad soil I'd be taking more care about each individual planting hole but it's really nice but you, you always want to just loosen the bottom of where you're planting into so the roots have an easy time of getting established and it rained last night, so I don't need to worry about watering. Uh, this is a perfect planting day in spring. Really good rain last night, and then sun now, so they'll photosynthesize very well. But they're going in um, to a really lovely moist soil. And if it hasn't rained, I would put a sprinkler or water it the night before and the day, uh, you know, just an hour or so before you plant. So again, then I can just get my trowel just between one in the next, and then pop them in. And so minimal root disturbance and minimal labour involved in raising them. And then just firm each one in as you go down. Couldn't be easier really. It's just like pre-germinating stuff makes it much more resistant to slugs. Now where these two are just so close, I I'm going to not bother with that one, I'm going to bin that one. Okay, that's great. So I'll carry on with that later.